Family is just a microcosm of that great huge macrocosm that's the world, mm -hmm. you know. And we all bring gif different gifts to the table. We bring gif different talents to the table. But the bottom line and the one thing that encompasses all of it is the fact that as we are charged to do the great commandment, love the one another as I've loved you. My name is Mary Bell Johnson Whiteman. I was born August 7th, 1932. My parents were Earlene Hill and Timothy Isaac Johnson. I am Betty Earlene Johnson Banks. Uh, in the Johnson Hill family, we have had each other to rely on through the years. I think we got a lot of that love for each other from my mother, Earlene. Um, I remember one of the times that I had to chastise my boys. I said, now you are there for fighting. I said, you don't fight each other. You just don't do that. If you have to fight, you fight in self-defense. So they began to learn the same thing. I'm, I'm hoping and I'm proud of that these kids are loyal to each other, love each other, and hope that the influence that uh, has come down from generations is being passed on to, to each of the children and the grandchildren. Well, you know, the reason we love each other so much, I think, is because our mother loved us. And we, she taught us how to love. And now, now when, I, when I tell you we were brats coming up, you know, I was not necessarily one of the brats because I, I, I took on the role <laughs> of mother in many instances. But I watched my siblings grow up and, and through their little spats and so on. Even through those, we, um, we learned to love each other and did always love each other. But I, I, I truly give my mother credit for teaching us how to love each other. One of the things that they did was show us love because I remember my mom and dad going out on a date when I was a little kid. We were living at 503 Copel Street in Kannapolis, North Carolina. And I remember that the rule was, mom and dad are going out, you keep the doors locked, you let no one in the house and the oldest one's in charge. Those were the rules. And it was really something to see, but I can remember them doing the thing that kept the marriage strong. If you keep the marriage strong, then you grow strong, loving children. They loved each other, and we knew it. We had wonderful relationships and terrible relationships. It expand through the whole family. We all had ones that we loved. We all had ones that we just couldn't stand at that moment. But the love was the underlying factor the whole time. The, the, the cradle to grave relationships are the sibling ones, generally. And those are the ones that will always undergird the rest of your relationships. That's, your siblings are your fallback position. We played together, we laughed together, and uh, just out and out showed each other, you know, mutual love and respect. And it was, it was a good thing. It was really good. <laughs> what do I know now that would have made my growing up easier? I suppose being a Christian girl and having a uh, minister as a father, if I had really listened to the words of the gospel and really paid attention to all that was being uh, taught to me and preached to me when I was growing up, when I heard it, it didn't make a lot of sense. But if I'd been able to understand it, then I would have been a much better person. I wouldn't have made the mistakes that I made. And regrettably, we don't really mature until we're grown. I've discovered at this late point in my life that there is always a reason, and I don't have to understand it. I just have to do what God says. The lineage of God and, and where he takes uh, his people, you know, you, you come from a good family. You are a good family, and you raise good children who are going to uh, be good parents and have have great kids. And so that's just a that's just a happy moment in my life to have uh, have these grandbabies. At our age, you begin yeah. to recognize the miracles every day. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. A family is just a microcosm of that great, huge macrocosm that's the world, mm -hmm. you know. And 
we all bring gif different gifts to the table. We bring gif different talents to the table. But the bottom line and the one thing that encompasses all of it is the fact that as we are charged to do the great commandment, love thee one another as I've loved you. And then you can't beat that. 